Okay, this is going to be a video on my CRF 100 mods. This is a 2004 CRF 100F with a FMF pipe. It's a power core 4. I have the hose clamp on there so I can put things over the exhaust when you wash it and stuff. The rear tire. Um, as far as the size, I put a XR100 rear tire on it, and rear rim and hub assembly. It is a, let's see where it says it, 90 slash 100 slash 14, so that's only a 14 inch tire. And then I also did the XR80, or I mean XR100 um, rear shock mod. And then... The front tire is still the same size as factory. And the FMF pipe um, comes with the PowerCore 4 when you order the CRF 100 kit. There's the model. And then on the other side. But it's, um, that rear suspension does quite a bit. If you leave the factory rear tire on it, when you put the new shock on it, it won't be able to stand on its kickstand. This is a little bit taller than factory, even with that smaller tire on it. Because that shock is a, um, different design, and it allows the spring to expand a little bit more. So you can see it, it's like an orangish red spring, closer to an orange. And then I have the carburetor rejetted to match the FMF pipe. I haven't put a um, high flow air cleaner in it yet, but I have drilled a hole in the top and put a little vent in the top of it. Can't really see it, but... Inside there, there's a little vent. And then, um, I need to adjust the timing chain. Right there is where you adjust it. Um, you take this off, and then you turn that, tighten. You can, like, tighten that up a little. You want to take the top of the engine off, though, when you do that. See if you're tightening it too much. Okay, I'm going to start the bike up. That should be neutral. Might not be. Engine has that little tick from the timing chain being a little loose. Okay, that's gonna be all for this video. Please comment, like, and subscribe.